quite an eventful evening. I have taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. Can't go wrong with the classics. The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. Harvey Dent. He was a friend. Once. In the end, Harvey couldn't make a single decision without consulting his lucky coin. He's in Arkham Asylum now, with the rest of the criminally insane. Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin, my oldest friend. Vicky Vale, a.k.a. Lady Arkham, driven to madness, leader of the children of Arkham. She'll stay away if she knows what's good for her. No explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. It... it comes and goes. Ever since the kidnapping and... and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. <clears throat> no, no, don't you worry about me. No, I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. Your family, Alfred. We worry about family. Thank you, Bruce. It'll pass. Working always helps. The Agency. The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Uh, Batman's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. The Riddler's a flashy homicidal maniac with a thing for puzzles, and Waller and her agency might be just as dangerous. Again, Waller may be running a more ethical operation these days. Yes, Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes, to have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Mori. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden, to get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. 
The man is deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. I know just the place for him. Plenty of room at Arkham Asylum. Next to him, most of the inmates seem like a picture of health. What was that? You should see your face. Its confusion is delightful. I think I'll take it with me. I take everything back. Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. Uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. There's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye, yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. Justice. How it released to Batman, maybe. Lady Justice is blindfolded to show she's impartial. She has two eyes under the blindfold, though. Not one. So it's something else. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Uh, sounds very plausible. These strange grooves. chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself, unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms, something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound? What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Hey, Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. 
My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually going to be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Tower. Good hunting, Bruce. I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprise's chairperson. I just talked to the board, and they couldn't be more pleased with how our partnership with GCPD is going. Seems like you made the right call when you decided to take that contract over the Arkham remodel. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, this? No. This is just something for Lucius. I see. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop? No, no, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Micropulse waveform. Ah, and the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. What in the... It's not one of mine. Think fast. Tiffany? Hey, Bruce. T my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. So I made you some tech the government would be jealous of. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not bad. See what I had to deal with growing up? Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is? And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. 
I can't quite put my finger on it, but you look, you look, you look. I think the, uh, the word you're looking for is badass. Um, no, that is definitely not what I meant. I'm the resident badass around here. Thank you very much. <laughs> you just said that out loud. Uh, see, Bruce, it's her first day and I'm already embarrassing her. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. It's pretty cool, huh? I don't know if cool would be the word I would use. I can hear it hum. What does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Um, uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. All right, if you think you can help, then be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I won't be finishing up orientation. Uh, no problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. I heard he wasn't doing so well. That he was having some issues with his health? He would love that. I hope he isn't still angered with me and Luke about that incident with the China. Well, you know, Al, no one messes with his dinnerware. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. If you're willing to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? Into the mission? We're going to need help if we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. And we can trust her. She's family, after all. Well, if she's anything like you... She's better than me. Okay. Then... Let's give her a shot. Great. I'll start thinking about how we can broach the subject with her. In the meantime, Riddler's puzzle will be a fine start. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. I'll be down in a few. No worries. I'll, uh, start without you. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the agency's behavioral analysis unit. We just came by to ask a few questions? Is this gonna take long? It's not really a good time. I'm afraid this meeting isn't optional. You'll just have to put up with us for a few minutes. This office, it really represents you. Well, I like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham. 
Yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. What's that all about? How's it going down there? I, uh, left that file on your desk. Think you could bring it down? I'll be down in just a second. Sorry about that. What were you saying? I was saying you're a bit of a mystery. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Riddler? That psycho from the news? <laughs> I thought you'd be interested, considering your history. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You helped the GCPD capture Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin. He was a terrorist, a member of the Children of Arkham, and your friend. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes, having money and fame makes you an easy target. I've had my fair share of crazies knocking on my door. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. You've got to be kidding me. He's no friend of mine. That's why you came here to ask me about that guy? According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. I saw you flee after John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Several people were hurt. I got out of there as fast as I could. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. I did not agree to that. <laughs> Why would he write down my name? It's obvious. You're important to him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. <laughs> and your point is what exactly? That I'm some kind of criminal mastermind? Or just really unlucky? You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. daughter out of the building get yourself out what are you talking what did you figure out i've i've solved the riddler's puzzle bruce <sighs> riddler really pulled a good one over on us <sighs> i might still be able to disable it but <clears throat> you just hold tight lucius i'm coming down to help it's too late for that tell tiffany that i love her that i'm sorry i wasn't around more lucius we really made a difference, didn't we, Batman? Lucius!
One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wynn Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. there for me, Lucius. From the very beginning. I'm gonna miss you. He was a good man. To lose him like this, it's, it's hard to bear. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Riddler will pay for what he's done. I swear to you, I will make him suffer. Maybe it's what's called for given the circumstances. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes, she can use all the support she can get. <sighs> hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. <sighs> Tiffany, I... I know what you're going through. I remember what it was like when I lost my parents. <sighs> that, uh... Sudden emptiness. There's no feeling like it in the world. I don't think it'll ever go away. It certainly didn't for me. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. So much wisdom in that goofy head of his. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just... <laughs> trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There, there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hi, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just 
Tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. All be grateful. You... you knew my father? Well, no, but judging by all the lovely people here, he must have been quite a man. Either that, or he left a lot of money. Excuse me? <laughs> <clears throat> Just saying. You know, he seems popular. <laughs> Much beloved. Whoa, whoa! What the heck? Seriously, Bruce? This guy's with you. I'm so sorry. I will handle this. Jeez, Bruce, that's quite a grip. Gonna leave a bruise for sure. What are you doing here? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you, John. That's very considerate of you. Oh, good. I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see. People get upset at the littlest things. It hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? <laughs> you can't possibly mean that, Ed. Arkham is hell. It was my home, Bruce. And home is where the heart is. I'm almost sorry that I convinced Dr. Leland to release me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you? Just sit down. Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me. <laughs> For settling the score with Zaz and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. I give you my word, didn't I? I'll stand by it. I knew the moment we met friends for life. You see, I met some inspiring people out here, made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. 
So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. Maybe you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please? I've, I've got a lot riding on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun. I knew this would work out. This air between us, this is real. You can't force this kind of friendship. I want to commemorate the moment. The guys will be so excited. Now, what filter should I use? Put that away. This is a funeral, for God's sake. I, I'm sorry. I, I got so caught up in it all, I completely forgot. I just know you're gonna hit it off with the guys. I should warn you, though. I've got an enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. So I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd, though. Or so I thought. Uh, just from the news. The guy's clearly a murderer, sick in the head. Don't know the half of it. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. His hole? You know where he is. No, not, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I already said I'd meet your friends, John. Now tell me what you know. Jeez. <laughs> well, if it means that much to you. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later, like I ask. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's uh it's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. I know we'll see each other again soon. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Oh, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. <laughs>